An 83 years old lady is admitted with fracture neck of the femur and is managed surgical fixation. On the following surgery, he is noted to have dense hemiparesis. Several days later, MRI scan of the brain performed and demonstrated 3 cm area of devitalized tissue within the right middle lobe. Which of the pathological process described below is most likely account of this appearance. That means there is dead tissue in the brain which type of changes occurs. Here are the options. Options are coagulative necrosis, colliquative necrosis, caseous necrosis, fibrinoid necrosis and apoptosis. So which type of change in case of the brain where there is devitalized tissue. First of all, say the necrosis. Necrosis is characterized by bioenergetics failure and loss of the tissue perfusion result in hypoxia and finally death of the tissue inability to generate atp and integrity of the cellular membrane is lost and loss of atp result of loss of the energy dependent cellular transport mechanism and finally death of the tissue so the necrosis necrosis occurs due to the loss of the oxygen there is influx of water and ionic instability and finally cellular lysis release of intracellular content and may stimulate inflammatory response this type of tissue undergo cause determine the predominant necrosis pattern so what happens imagine this is a cell and in case of the cell what happens there is the leaking of the membrane in case of the necrosis so when there is leaking when there is leaking of the membrane so within the cell there is more and more sodium more and more potassium and finally burst out of the cell the coagulation there are different type of the coagulation among them two are most important first one is coagulative the second one is the liquefactive or colliquative so the coagulative necrosis it is the commonest subtype and it occurs most of the organ tissue is initially firm later becomes soft and it is digested finally is digested by the macrophage in the early phase histological appearance may demonstrate little changes and in later stage cellular outline are seen and loss of intercellular details and in case of the colliquative necrosis or liquefactive necrosis occurs tissue within no supportive stoma and dominant necrosis in the cns so in the cns or brain there is its colliquative necrosis and necrocyte may eventually become encysted another one which is the apoptosis what is apoptosis necrosis and apoptosis in both cases cell death occurs but the apoptosis it is program cell death that means this type of cell death usually is used by the our body to removal of the unwanted cell energy dependent pathway activation by a number of intercellular signaling mechanism and fast ligation bcl2 activated and finally acts on receptor and finally dna fragmentation mitochondrial function ceases nuclear and cellular shrinkage occurs and finally this will be phagocytosis so the necrosis and apoptosis apoptosis is totally body switch body want to remove a cell which is non-functional so it is apoptosis so in case of the brain what type of the necrosis it is it is the colliquative necrosis